Hey, Isabella, can you go to my shift Monday? Monday, Monday. Oh, no. Oh, Monday, I can't. No, I'm sorry. I'm double booked on Monday. Wait, is everything okay? You look stressed. Got a course on this. I got pulled over last week, you know, traffic stop or some BS like that. And I tried to get other people to cover my shift, but I haven't been able to find anybody. And my supervisor said that I won't be, I won't be able to go. I won't be able to go to my court date. And I don't know what else to do. Wow. It sounds like our supervisor is being unreasonably hard on you. Wait. So last week, Squish came and gave us their card and posted something. Have you maybe thought about giving Squish a call? Squish? What is Squish? Isabella, I literally feel Squish right now. <laughs> I understand. Squish is the local queer support helpline. It's peer-run for and by LGBTQIA plus folks. They're the exact type of resource you would need to talk to for feeling how you're feeling right now. And I know how hard it can be for black trans folks in the city to find work. Yeah, that's very true. Um, yeah, I guess I'll give them a call, you know, just to run a little bit. Um, maybe find some job options. Thank you. Appreciate it. You're welcome. What's going on today? I feel like I just can't win. Uh, I just got a new job, which I love, but I might have to lose this job because I got pulled over for something stupid in my new, and now I have to go to court for a ticket to fight this ticket. And I might have to lose this, and I, can, I can't lose anymore. I just lost my insurance, and I just feel like I'm just being punished for being poor, and I, I just need a break. Wow, you know, it truly is very difficult for black trans folk to survive in this world. It does seem as though that the systems that are make it harder for us to survive. And it really is not beneficial that your supervisor's kind of being a jerk. Now, I have a question. Would you like to talk about some of the options that you have in front of you now? I love a hockey ball. Oh, yeah. Wait, by the way, what do you guys, what do you guys think about Amy? Oh, Amy, just, oh, yeah. Amy, Amy, Amy. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah oh. I, think they're, I think they're pretty hot. What about oh. you, Anne? Who do you like? Oh, I don't know. I, I like coffee. All right, students, uh, it's been a long weekend. We're back in the swing of things, so let's get into it. Open up your books to chapter three. Tonight, we're learning about mitosis. Okay. Oh, oh, dude, chapter three? <laughs> this is page 69. <laughs> dude, high five. <laughs> Hi, thanks for calling Squish, St. Louis' queer support helpline. This is Maxi, and my pronouns are they, then. Are you in a safe place to talk? Yeah. Okay, cool. So who do I have the pleasure of speaking with today? Uh, my name is Erin, I use Shia Clemens. Okay, Erin, what would you like to talk about? Uh, I don't know, I feel like something's wrong with me. Like, my friends, they talk about dating and sex, and I'm just, I'm just not interested. I don't know, is that weird? Oh, Erin, no, that doesn't make you weird at all. You know, there are a lot of people in the community that just aren't interested in sex or relationships. In fact, there's a whole facet of the community that fits this. I want to know one thing. What are you interested in, Aaron? So last week, I was trying to use the bathroom and someone made a scene and chased me out. And then I had to wait to use the bathroom and I just wanted to take It's stressful when having to go to work and I can't just use the bathroom in peace. Oh, God. I would give that one a minute. <sighs> I hate feeling on race by just doing something basic. I feel mad goofy just sitting at my desk, not going to the bathroom because I don't want to make people uncomfortable, you know what I mean? Wow, I hear you. Also being a non-binary person myself, I can definitely understand the frustrations that arise whenever bathroom situations come. Thank you so much for coming to dinner tonight, honey. Yeah, Mackenzie, you've never come to church anymore. What's going on? It's Jaden. You know what? I'm, I'm done. We've done this so many times. 
I'm a man, my markers change, my pronouns are he, him, I'm out. I, my hands uh, No! Two, I'm sorry. Do you want more coffee, baby? Sure. <laughs> Mackenzie, I don't know why every time you do this when you come over and just stir up problems for the family. Uh, I'll see you next Sunday, sweetie. God bless you. Bye. Yeah, we'll, we'll pray for you. Man, I was so tired of putting up with this every time I come over to see my family. I need to talk to somebody. Hello, thanks for calling Squish, St. Louis' Queer Support Helpline. This is Maxie, and my pronouns are they, them. What would you like to talk about today? It's my family. It's so hard being around them sometimes. I've told them that my name is Jaden now, but they're just not respecting my identity as a trans man. And I want to go to service, but having to listen to them tell me that they're going to pray for me each week to change. Oh wow, Jaden. It seems like you've got a lot going on. You know, it's really hard when we have people that are close to us that are not validating our trans identities. I want you to know that I validate your identity, even if people in your life do not. I appreciate that, because I've been feeling familyless for a long time. Squish. The St. Louis Queer Support Helpline is a local service started by our own community. Squish helps provide free, confidential, and identity-affirming emotional support and research referrals by and for the St. Louis LGBTQIA community. Call to chat with an empathetic, supportive peer. Call me, maybe. 